Hi, it's Carissa Goodlett, and I'm going to teach you today how to create a Facebook group for your customers. Over along the left hand side here, you can see my favorite groups. Um, these are groups that I either create, have created or am a part of, and I just, I use them a lot, and so I have made them part of my favorites, and I'll show you how to do that as you create your group. So just go down to groups here, and um, click on create group and you're going to um, decide on a name so let's see we'll do this and um, you cannot use the word 31 or the number 31 in your title um, so that's just one of the rules that um, 31 has and then you need to add one member to your group so I'm gonna add my husband for this demonstration here and then you do need to make it a closed group because um, public groups are not allowed by 31 and then secret groups are not good because no one can find you and this right here is where you make your group um, one of your favorites and then push create Okay, and then you can pick a little icon here. We'll go with a gift since it's 31 gifts. Upload a photo. There's a little sneak peek at how I have things organized back here. Um, so I have the different months here. Let's go with June since it is almost June. The customer special up here, and as soon as it's done loading, we'll save that and um, right here, I would definitely put your website first. I know when I go to someone's group page for their customers. I like to have you know a link right there so I know how to go and browse their site so um, I would recommend doing that and then you can just put you know whatever description you want here I think I have something like um, I want to help you fall in love with 31 there we go save that um, and then to get members, you're just going to want to ask people individually. You can message people and just say, you know, I just began this um, journey with 31 and wanted to know if you'd like to join my customer group. And then <laughs> um, usually they're going to say yes. Um, but if they say no, that's fine. You know, you don't want people who don't want to be in it. Um, I know when I first started, I added every single person in my contact list because I really didn't know any better and um, yeah that's just not the way you want to do it so anyway ask people get their permission and then go ahead and add them so alright thanks